Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 13 of We the Revolution. So, it's a new day, it's a new letter arrived. The dead have stopped vanishing, you did not rebuke the members of the convention, but young people who are easy to scare when they know they have been caught, I doubt they will do it again, at least not during your term. Well, that lost me something with the aristocrats. Why ever. But, why are we holding the head? Ew. <coughs> So, who are you? She's accused of theft. In the dock is Genevieve Lucier, a resident of the section Bonne Nouvelle Rue Poissonnière. Citizen Lucier is employed as a seamstress, but each Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday she works at night as a caretaker at a warehouse on Rue de Clery. When asked why he would employ a woman in a specifically male position, the owner of the warehouse, Antoine Tellier, replied, All the men went to war and there's no one left to work. She's accused of stealing one-sixth of the contents of the barrels of cane sugar that were imported from the colonies. Citizen Tillier claims that the incident occurred sometime between last Friday night and Saturday morning during Genevieve, Genevieve Lucier's shift. He would also like to enlighten us about the current price of sugar. It is high. <laughs> How much is the sugar? Very much. The owner testified, which has been confirmed through an on-site investigation, that no windows were broken and neither the front nor the back door were forced open. After ending her shift, Citizen Lucier did not report any unusual occurrences. The missing sugar was reported by the workers from the morning shift. The investigators went through the register and found that for some time there have been small losses after night shifts. Genevieve Lucier, seamstress, middle-aged widow, mother of five, supporter of the Jacobins, Antoine Tellier, spice merchant, apologized apolitical many of his suppliers and clients view him as greedy and cunning although it must be said that people who lack this trade will not thrive as merchants evidence warehouse register Antoine's Tellier, Antoine Tellier's testimony oh no Mrs. Mrs. Lucier has been working for me for some time and I had complete trust in her. That's why I didn't react before when I noticed a small amount of merchandise missing. Just the usual business losses, I thought. This time, however, someone stole a larger amount and only Mrs. Lucier, Mrs. Lucier had access to the goods in question. Oh no. Although, I don't know, she has to... Oh, okay, I get it. She could steal sugar to sell it herself for a high price. Oh, 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 what am I gonna do with you? I guess your offender's personality is a mother of five. No, it's not. Oh, great. This is another great start. Mm, okay, so she must be a seamstress then. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's an extenuating circum... No, it's not. Okay. guess the warehouse registers evidence. The cane sugar is... A motive, I guess. Oh boy. I'm not good today. The employer's trust is part of a testimony that I that he gave, right? No, it's not. I'm doing a lot wrong today. Ah <sighs> This is hard. But I have three points. I could always buy the help of my body. So stolen amount is the accusation yes okay finally something correct i don't understand how the mother of five is that's not an accusation how is she accused of being a mother of five children is it a testimony or is it a motive you know what let's just say it's a motive oh would you look at that i don't know if Tellier's cunning could be the trap i mean how does this i mean it, it means that He's like charming or just, I don't know, he's a good businessman, but how does this fit in with everything else here? So the cane sugar was probably the accusation? <sighs> what could the morning shift be? Testimony? Although it is the morning shift that made the accusation. Uh, if we fail, we fail. Yeah. Oh, that was a trap. So, help me. Really? No, I don't get any... Do I get one more try now? Hmm, I got into the trap, so... Hmm. Is this like an accu... Is this like the, from the testimony he gave? Yes. The cane sugar is the accusation. 
And the employer is just a motive. Okay, well then. We made it. Thanks, Raymond. Oh well, then let's see what she has to say. The case strikes me as obvious. Or do we not know something? Oh, do we? I mean, people want her to go free, so... Please introduce yourself. Genevieve Lucier. I'm a seamstress. You stand accused of stealing sugar from Citizen Tellier's warehouse. I stole nothing. Tellier is a liar. Spoken like a truth, like a true thief. Oh, Tinville, you are so biased all the time. He put a woman in jail because the rats ate his sugar. Is she really innocent? That would be awesome. Okay, let's call in the witness first. Please introduce yourself. Antoine Tellier, I'm a merchant. <laughs> Let's ask for proof. Do you have any proof that it was Citizen Lucier who stole the unfortunate sugar? I don't believe anyone else could have done it. The warehouse owner knows best what pe what happens there. Tinville, seriously? Innocent until proven guilty, have you heard of that? Boxes and barrels were being unloaded from one of the ships that night. Why her and not one of the carriers? She had a motive. I've heard her husband died at war and left her with five children. It all fits. Sounds reasonable, does it not? Okay, no, I'm seriously... I'm Right now I'm really sure that she's innocent. He's just using this. Because she looks like someone who could do this. And seriously, you're in on this. You're so easily manipulated. No, 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 no. Is it possible that this is not theft, but simply the typical loss of merchandise? I don't know, but the fact is it's dark at night and Tellier doesn't like the idea of buying additional lanterns. It's easy to stumble or slip on something. Do you often see the carriers stumbling on something? Sometimes, but I usually steer clear of them. Could it be that someone spilled the sugar that disappeared? I don't know, but if one of them accidentally dropped a barrel and spilled its contents, he surely wouldn't admit to it. Of course not. They the cures the poor, th the poor thing. Why did you choose to take on this extra job? It wasn't a choice. I've got hungry mouths to feed. So you started working at the warehouse to steal food? Tinville, seriously. I don't even know what's inside those chests and barrels. You work as a seamstress by day. I sew, I wash my children's clothes, I cook and I clean. And you spend the evenings at the warehouse. The evenings? No, Monsieur Le Judge. I'm there the whole night. In the morning, I come back to make breakfast for my children and then I go to Sioux. The revolution was supposed to make things better. How do you manage to support five children? There's no mention of a Mr. Lucier anywhere in the files. Mr. Lucier heeded the call of arms and went to the front. He must have liked it because he decided to stay. Or his corpse did. Uh. Are you trying to evoke compassion in a grand jury? Tinville, honestly. It's been a long time since that word meant anything to me. So you let your husband go to war despite having children to support. He didn't care for my permission, he just announced that he'd return with money and a medal. I think he was just fed up with the noise in his work. <sighs> Should I ask her one question? I think I need to, because... What will be my question? What shifts was the defendant working? We already know that. I mean, as she said, it could have been any. It could have been anyone because there, she wasn't the only one back there, and there is no evidence. He was. That guy is just claiming. I mean, we have some room to spare. We could ask her one uncomfortable question. I think I want to know if he just made this up. Let's just ask her this. Let's see. Had Citizen Tellier ever complained about your work before the events in question? No, never. He's always smiled at me. Have you ever been caught doing anything inappropriate? Never. That's why Mr. Tellier dismissed the second caretaker he used to hire. In the past, there were always two people looking over each other's shoulders. Oh, ho. Oh, Tellier. But you were left alone. That's right. That was quite convenient for you, wasn't it? Was it you who persuaded him to get rid of the second guard? Tinville, seriously, come on! I don't talk to him. He's the one in charge. I'm just a servant. <laughs> come on, Tinville, seriously? You're just trying to aggressively make a case here that's not existent. 
I think we know that she was working on the night shift. I mean, seriously? She's going free. What'd you say to that, Tinville? Did the defendant confess to the crime? No. Was her act counter-revolutionary in nature? No, and seriously, this time I really believe it. When did someone take notice of the missing sugar? Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, I forgot what, what shift it was. Uh, what day it happened. So what shift was the defendant working? Night shift. Do you know that? Did anyone try to explain the regular losses in merchandise? So was it because of the warehouse being poorly lit? I'm not sure if that's the explanation. Oh, okay, okay, so I think it is. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a wild guess. Okay, but she made, she had the night shift and then the next shift, the morning shift, decided. So, was it Sunday at noon? Yeah. I guess it has to be. Let's see if there was any of this was correct. Let's see if this was counter-revolutionary as well. The verdict in the case of the missing cane sugar in Citizen Tellier's warehouse is not guilty. Please release Mrs. Lucier. I'm sure Tellier will survive the sly dog. Pretty sure too. You can't put compassion over justice and you can't put your own judgment over what lies in front of you. Shut up, Tinville. I don't understand this. So really everything is just counter-revolutionary here? How was this counter-revolutionary? Because she was poor? Come on. <sighs> yeah, you're free to go. Go home. Are you ready for the show? It is not my first time, Ramel. Remember, the people must turn against him. Gobel is not your average second-rate politician. Oh no, and I only have two points. Ah, oh, damn it. If I hadn't screwed the first questioning up, I would have a lot of points to, a lot of points to spend. Trust me, I can handle it. Am I? Very well. Let's go. Oh no. When will we finally get rid of those holy hypocrites? Tell us, Monsieur Le Jeux! When will Tinville drive them into a corner? To be honest, I don't want Tinville to drive anyone anywhere because I don't like him. I think I know how to go with the first one. I think it uh, it's probably is aggression. Because this sounds like it should be told aggressively but so I think I'm gonna spend my two points on those okay with attached it was I think it was humility right no it was manipulation hmm oh, and about carelessness about carefree I think carelessness was always at least a good argument so this will be aggression then attached will be Humility or manipulation? It was manipulation, I think. And oversensitive was also manipulation? Or maybe aggression. Let's see how this works out. So I think we should be successful with this, right? Let's see. Be angry! Be ruthless! If someone's head needs to be impaled, do it! It is your city! Your country! <laughs> Do you really need the people who refuse to defend your faith and instead just disgust you? Archbishop Gobel is another embodiment of that evil which you yourself have overthrown. He spies, incites, and harasses everyone who stands in his way.
Are you really going to let the truth about the Archbishop's illegitimate child disappear under the pile of sermons about a virtuous life? Will you let the clergy support civil wars instead of the faithful? Rise! Okay, so I think we did a good job. I don't know. I think with that speech and... Uh, I wonder who will die next in my family. Probably my oldest son. We'll see. What? Wow, okay. Oh no, and I was particularly bad at that, at the last one. Oh, great. Death to those that dare raise their hands against the church. Not against the church, but its greedy priests, the ones who are dragging France underwater. There is no difference, we will not let this stand, we should have put your heads on pikes long ago. The enemy's militia is fighting harder. Oh. Huh, so they fight harder. So maybe it's a good thing to start with bonus defense. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I think we're doing good so far. Hmm. Guess that's a good thing. Let's try this. Let's do this. One more time. I guess it should be okay. Well, let's see what this does. It's frontline versus frontline, but we have more lines. Okay, let's end this guy too. Okay. Okay, we did it. <laughs> uh, I think I want to go home for today. Even if it's just to construct my statue, although... Really, my wife doesn't even want to see her son's grave? Does she like every anything? No, she doesn't. You know what? Let's go to the grave still. <sighs> I think she's going to stab me in the back at some point, or she's going to betray me. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Finally. Okay, he's wounded. This guy these guys are trying to take over. Um 
Okay, I'm just trying to take this one back. Let's see. And now we can seize another building. So, what will all of these do? I want to see what a printing house does. Oh, the printing house enables actions against the Muscadines and the Revolutionary Patrol. Oh, that would be nice. The hideout will help your agents operate more efficiently in Paris. That's also nice. And actions granted by this building will facilitate your work at the court. Huh. I don't know what will help me in the court. Or maybe this. Although I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm... I mean, I have a lot of districts, so... Huh. Maybe I'm gonna go with the political salon. Why not? Okay. That's it for the map, and now we can go and see what's... Okay, arresting priests and giving a speech. That was a success. I can't do anything. Do I have to restart again? This happened once. Okay. Ah! Gobel's son reveals himself. This action will be performed in a few days. What about this? Even with the support of the people, we will not be able to attack a constitutional priest without the aid of the only authority Gobel answers to. We must make sure that the members of the convention turn their backs on the clergy or Gobel will be immune. The church has survived the anger of the faithful for centuries. It only responds to the warnings of authority. Okay, let's perform an action here. So Grace Elliot was a friend of ours. I mean, Danton wasn't really our best buddy. You know what? Grace saved us once. Maybe she'll help us again. That's trouble with Gobel. It all happens so suddenly. People will find it suspicious if we do not make a move. Will they think that we're on the side of liars and traitors? That is right. <sighs> I have zero points, so I have to wing this. I don't like this at all. So, attached was something with manipulating. The situation on the street is becoming difficult to control. We need to punish someone and set an example, and the people want to get to the clergy. Maybe that will need aggression? Maybe humility. I'll just try it. It's strong, strong, very weak. Oh no. Oh well, then maybe I'll go with humility or something like that. Oh well, this could be tough. Oh, although she starts to be intrigued from the beginning. Because we're friends, maybe? I know that I promised to serve the people and defend liberty, but our citizens are taking things too far. It didn't just happen, did it? Anyway, go on. If the rumors prove to be true, Gobel's presence will make the situation even worse. Do we want people to think the authorities are corrupted? My reputation is at stake, as is yours and your friends from the convention. I see that you're aiming at the, at the dignitaries. What do you suggest? Let's go to this. I'm against hurting the church. It hurts itself through the hands of degenerates who are cursed by our citizens. We need to cut ties with that entire group for the greater good. Yes, you have my support. I will pull some strings and talk to my friends at the convention. Yes, okay, that was good. Can I convince another one? Oh, yes. So, Danton wasn't really our best buddy, right? The situation on the street is becoming difficult to control. The trouble with Gobel has only poured salt on the wood. We need to punish someone, set an example. Hmm, okay. So, he's oversensitive, which means we could manipulate him. You know what, I'm just gonna try carelessness, why not? We need to punish someone and set an example, and the people want to go to the clergy. Let's try, try with aggression. Oh! Nice! That was a lucky shot. So aggression is probably not good working with him, so maybe I'll try humility with this one. Well, I guess he's not so inclined towards us, so this will be a little bit harder. The situation is beyond our control. A girl was battered yesterday because people suspected that she was spying for the insurgents. Who knows who their next target will be? You? Me? I was always curious if you would benefit from the situation. 
Goebel has got himself into hot water at the worst possible moment. Maybe the Pope has finally had his revenge? God has listened to his prayers and decided to punish the Archbishop for being appointed constitutionally. Gobel has really become an irritating splinter, but I understand his situation. The rich are always accused of more than they actually did. So if I just don't mess this up right now, it should be okay. Maybe humility? <sighs> I am against hurting the church. It hurts itself through the hands of degenerates who are cursed by our citizens. We need to cut ties with that entire group for the greater good. Yes, yes, yes. I was never enthusiastic about radical solutions as they always turn out to be too expensive. Today, however, I do not see any other way. Yes. Successful. Questionably successful, but still successful. Okay. Yes. We did it. That was good convincing we did there. Okay. So... Next day. Though I'm really scared to see what Gobel will come up with. Today we only have several minor cases to deal with. Okay, thanks, Tinville. I don't want to see your... F What's happening here? Rumors? Still? Come on. A royalist uprising started in Vendée. Paris is in turmoil and anyone could be accused of trying to start a civil war. Be careful. Okay. I want to see. How are we going, doing on the hierarchy? We're still here. But uh, next we're going to take down Gobel. So Danton rose up. I think he wasn't up there before. Hmm. Dear Judge, this evening we will be holding a ball on the outskirts of Paris. We have invited only the brightest minds of France. The better part of France and your presence is expected. My associates and I have something to tell you. Something important. The card will be waiting outside court. Clément Renard. Oh, no, 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 no. Are we going to die soon? Please don't stab me. Take my wife, but not me. No, that's not fair. No, I don't want my wife to die, but I think she would like me to die. Three youngsters, Martin Barbier, Theo Saunier, and Daniel Duverger, broke into a bakery at night. They stole a big bag of flour, which they later tried to sell in Les Halles. We should also mention that during the robbery, a window was broken. Yeah, but I don't want to know. Two cheap prostitutes, Marie-Laure de la Place and Yvette Michaud, assaulted and badly injured the colleague Lucille Joguet, who had allegedly seduced one of their clients. Passers-by found the victim in a dark alley. She was unconscious, bleeding, and covered in bruises. Owing to the attack, the victim lost her left eye. Oh no. Okay, no, that is not something to be forgiven. Locksmith Geoffrey Loop, who was commissioned to install a lock on one of Baron Boudreau's chests, damaged the encrusted lid. The Baron appraised the damage and said it would cost 50 francs to repair. Loup claims that the cover was damaged before he started to work. One testimony against the other. So no, he's not gonna lose his head for this. Aimé Martin accused brothers Theophile and Eloi Carv of raping her during a dance. They allegedly dragged her near the Seine and forced themselves on her in the shrubs. We did not find any witnesses of the incident. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. This is dangerous territory. But this is, oh, this is complicated because on the one hand, there are no witnesses and it's, and I also, and I also preached before innocent until proven guilty. So it's, so because the court doesn't make a real case out of this, and because of what I just see, there is no evidence laying before me, so I can't sentence them to death. I'm really sorry if this really happened, but no. I, I don't know, there's no evidence there, right? <sighs> Please don't hate me if I just misread something. Olivia Moineau, an employee at a government office, has allegedly told her neighbors that her new manager is not suitable for his position. She supposedly even said that the new authorities are betting on simpletons and that someone will have to sort things out. Okay, no, she's not going to lose her head for gossiping. 
Marianne Garros, little, Marianne Garros little boy died, probably as a result of being beaten. When she brought her son to the doctor, the only thing he could do was declare him dead and call for the guard. When investigators inquired about the location of the child's father at the time of the incident, the suspect refused to answer. So wait, I mean, what is the case here? Why, why is she being accused? Oh, okay, she's being beaten by the family. That is also... Mm, damn it. I mean, it's still, there is no evidence that she did it, or although she didn't, the suspect refused to answer. So, probably the husband did it. But then the problem is, why should, if we cut off her head, it's hard, because, I mean, I guess she witnessed it, because she wouldn't have brought him to the doctor. So I guess she must have witnessed it, and she didn't do anything to protect him. <sighs> okay, I'm done for today. So those were some more complicated, or I don't know, more delicate cases. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, Tinville, I know. But seriously, you're preaching that even the least fortunate should have fair trial and then you're going there and accusing everyone out of the blue without even evidence <sighs> you're also a little bit of a hypocrite it seems that i need you good day citizen i am here to take you to the ball why are you so sure that i have the intention of going should you resist citizen renard has asked me to tell you that during the event he will reveal the name of the person who murdered your child Really? You're throwing a ball to announce that? What? I know very well who did it. I sincerely doubt it. The carriage awaits you, citizen. You really have nothing to lose, so please follow me. Seriously? He threw a ball to announce who murdered my child? I don't know. Is this some kind of event to him? This is really creepy. Thank you for accepting our invitation. That's why everyone hates aristocrats. I didn't really feel like having a choice. Fair point. Thank you anyway. What a lovely residence. I'm glad that all that tribute money didn't go to waste. Why am I here? We wanted you to meet those who are pursued only because of their provenance. The wealthy are being oppressed, just like the poor were in the past. Aristocracy worked hard to be treated that way. Everyone has a reason to hate you. The same propaganda slogans all over again. Once we're finished with that revolution, can we kill all those who are now trying to get rid of us? Good luck. Maybe you'll meet the ones who killed my child. I must admit that we weren't entirely convinced whether we should take part in that murder, but the offer was just too tempting. What is that supposed to mean? I personally think that our disguised partner overestimates you. Yet he wishes to cooperate with the judge of the tribunal. He has also reassured us that he doesn't intend to kill any other member of your family. He killed my child? You did that? See how powerful we, the Highborn, have become since you forced us to unite. We will play one single game of dice, you and I. We will play for the fate of the man who betrayed your family and helped us kill your child. Um, no. Seriously? Oh my god. <laughs> so, I guess he is the bad guy. Because at first I was confused why suddenly it was Renard. Now, I mean, who's this? So I guess he is the one that Gobel hired. I will not play his games, seriously. 
That's it. Seriously, you just told me that you were in on the murder of my child and now you want to play dice with me for the life of him? I will not play your games. I will not play your games, Renard. You are as weak and mediocre as your father. Well, at least my father is a decent person. Everything pointed to Gobel. If it was really Renard who was responsible for my son's death, then I should not have started a war with Gobel. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. There is Gobel on one side and furious, revenge-driven aristocrats on the other. A war on two fronts at once, at a time when our country itself is consumed by civil war. Maybe you should agree to that alliance? I will not ally with the murderers of my child. You still have another one. I will not do it. It's your life, but I would prefer not to bury any more of your family. Me neither. So did I make a wrong decision in dice and not throwing dice with him? Okay, the political salon was successfully seized. The available actions will facilitate your work at court. Hmm, okay. Oh. Never pick a quarrel with the aristocracy. They know where to strike to make you suffer most. Did I make a real huge mistake by not gambling with him? I just want to see how my political salon all i can do fill in the report and bribe the jury oh um i don't really know how i should use that but still i'm gonna spend my three points today to i cannot oh it got more expensive how mean well then i'm just gonna talk him free so oversensitive was manipulation that's another oversensitive, so another manipulation, maybe? And attached was also manipulation? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Then let's go. Okay, I think we already know that. We think I think we all know how this goes. It's always the same. Conversation, so you're free to go. Everything's good again. This. Oh, okay, now they're fighting too. Hmm. Oh well. So let's intrigue. So what will happen now? Oh, so is this over? No, it's stuck again. Oh. It is over. Okay, I think it ended in a stalemate, so. Yes, we left. We let off of um, Gobel. But we are going to end today's episode. Oh. The tribunal is the revolution's enemy, a fishwife yelled. Nothing relaxes Paris' citizens like demolishing a symbol. This time they took their frustration out on the Palais de Justice, your workplace. It's a good thing the guard intervened, or they would have raised the building to the ground and started yet another revolution. Oh no. <laughs> okay, um... So, that was it for today. We will continue in the next episode. So until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.